So in this video, we're going to solve the integer linear programming problem where we are maximizing 3x take away y subject to these constraints. Now, the only difference um, in the problem that we have is that it's an integer linear programming problem. So that means that the solutions can only take on integer values. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, let's just build up the diagram first. So let's deal with the fact that x has got to be greater than or equal to 0. So that means I can shade in the region I don't want, which is to the left of the y-axis. OK. Um, and then for y being greater than or equal to 0, that means I can shade in the region I don't want, which is below the x-axis. Okay, so uh, let's go for the first constraint. So minus 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15. So that means that when x is 0, uh, the y value is going to be 5, because you'll have 3y equals 15, so y equals 5. So that means it's going through that point there. Now, we just need to find another point. So what should we try? Let's try, um, because I, I'm not going to try when y is 0, because that gives me x is minus 7.5, and that's off the grid. So let's choose another value. Let's try, um, let's try x is 10. Let's try that. So if x is 10 then I'm going to have minus 20 plus 3y is equal to 15. So 3y is equal to 35. So y is going to be 35 over 3. So I haven't chosen a, a particularly good value here because 35 over 3 is going to be difficult for me to plot. So, you know, these things can happen. So let's try another value, shall we? Um, what would be a better value to try? Well, um, we could try, it's really, it would be better if we had something with maybe the Y values um, substituted in instead. So what, what if we try Y is 10? What happens then? What do we get then? So when Y is 10, let's just, uh, Raise what we've got there. When y is 10, we're going to have minus 2x uh, plus 30 is equal to 15. So take the 30 from both sides. And so x is going to have to be equal to 7.5. That's a little bit better. Um, still not brilliant, but that's what we'll go with. So x is 7.5 and y is 10 it should get me about there okay so let's draw a line going through those two points something like that okay so now zero zero is not uh, on the line so I can substitute that in. Is 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 15? Yes, it is. So I want the region below, so I'm going to shade the region above. Okay. Right. So we've got that line. Let's get rid of that. Give ourselves a bit of space. Right. So let's focus on 5x take away 3y is less than or equal to 11 now. Okay, so I'm going to hit similar kind of problems um, with this one. So let's think of some nice values that I might be able to substitute in. Uh, because when x is 0, I'm going to get y is minus 11 thirds. So that's no good. Uh, when y is 0, I'm going to get 11 over 5, which I can plot on, I guess. Um, so we could try that one. 
when y is 0, we're going to get 5x is equal to 11. So x is 11 divided by 5. So that would be 2.2. And on this grid, I can actually plot that point reasonably easily. So 2.2 when y is 11. So that would put it there. OK, so that's my first point. So I'm going to need another point. So now I've got to have a think about what point I should use. Um, okay, so um, just thinking of ways to get that down. How about all right? How about if x is ten? If x is 10, we're going to get 50, take away 3y is equal to 11. So that means that 3y is going to have to be equal to 39. So y is going to have to be equal to 13. Okay, so we've got 10, 13 as a point. So 10, 13 would be there. Okay, that's all good then. So let's draw a line going through those two points. Something like that. Okay, right. Now, 0, 0 is not on that one either. So 0 plus 0, take away 0 rather, it is less than or equal to 11. So 0, 0 is in the region. So I'm going to shade the region I don't want, which is to the right. Okay, that's all good. So we've got one left. So x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 19. Right, well, when y is 0, um, x is 19. So it's definitely going through this point down here. And when y is, sorry, when x is 0, um, y will be 19 divided by 2, uh, which is 9.5. So about there. So that's not too bad to draw that one. OK. And 0, 0 isn't on the line, so is 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 19? No, it's not. So 0, 0 is not in the region I want. So I'm going to shade the region I don't want, which is this bit here. So we now have our feasible region. Uh, so the feasible region is here. That's our feasible region. Right, I'm going to change to red now, I think. So, because we are only looking at integer solutions to this, we must only look at integer points within your feasible region. Okay, now, uh, the integer points, uh, well, there is a point here, and there is a point here. And there's a point there, and there, and there, actually. There is that point. And there is this one as well. And that one. And that one. So the solution will be any of these red points. Okay? So it has to be one of those ones. So for 3x take away y... Um, Really, I want to try some of these points out. So, probably be best if I build up some kind of table where I've got 3x take away y. So I can substitute a few points in and see what I get. Okay, so I'm going to work from the left to the right because uh, it might not be obvious as to what graded the 3x minus y will be and where, which point it's going to hit first. So I'm going to go with uh, 5, 7 first. So 5, 7. Uh, then I've got 5, 8. 
Uh, then I've got six, seven. Uh, six, eight, and six, nine. Then I've got seven, um, seven, eight. Then I've got seven, nine. Then finally, I've got that point there, which is eight, ten. Okay. So, uh, three times five take away seven. So that's giving me eight. Um, three times five take away eight is seven. Three times six take away seven is 11. Three times six take away eight is 10. Three times six take away nine is nine. Three times seven take away eight is 13. Three times seven take away nine is 12. And three times eight take away 10 is 14. So clearly the maximum point is this one here. The maximum value is 14 when X is eight and Y is 10. So it is this point here, which is giving the uh, maximum value. Okay, so that may not be been obvious due to the uh, gradient of the 3x minus y line. So um, if you weren't able to visualize it, um, but that is how we can double check. So if you need to double check points and try more than one, uh, if it's not obvious to you, then you can just substitute them in and see which one gets you the largest value.